In today's gaming news, Watch Dogs gets a release date, details are revealed for Microsoft's Illuma Room, and Game Dev Tycoon aims to teach pirates a lesson. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. It is Monday, April the 29th, and my name is Force, here with your day's gaming news. First up today, we've got a release date for Ubisoft's next major IP, Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs is an upcoming open-world action-adventure game where players use high-tech hacking tools and gadgets to complete various objectives. The game takes place in Chicago and follows a group of vigilantes who use these tools to deal with criminals in the city. Watch Dogs will be available on all current and next-gen systems, along with PC, on November 19th in North America and the 22nd in the UK. You know, I think Watch Dogs could be the next big thing for Ubisoft. Typically, with a new generation of consoles, we get a new IP that sort of takes the reins. Now, for the last generation, for Ubisoft, it's fair to say that that was Assassin's Creed. And while I don't think they're going to stop making Assassin's Creed games, Watch Dog could be the next major IP from this company. We'll have to see how reception is when it launches this fall. Next up in news, we've got some more details for Microsoft's Illuma Room, illuminating your room. During this week's CHI conference in Paris, Microsoft will be showcasing the proof-of-concept technology behind Illumaroom. Illumaroom is a projection system meant to be used with the Xbox that is designed to extend the visual display of gaming on a TV. Beyond an extended field of view, Illumaroom can be used to highlight important off-screen information and provide additional awareness and immersion for the player. So when the Illuma Room was first announced, I'll admit I was a little bit harsh. I just said it's going to be pretty little snowflakes falling down and it's not really going to make a difference to core gamers. But on second thought, I could see this actually being an interesting and immersive experience, especially with some of the off-screen heads-up display things, like if there's a friend behind you, you'll be able to see where they're located in position to your TV and the perspective that you're facing. Now when you compare this to something like the Oculus Rift, I'm just not sure if it holds up, but there are also two completely different things, and just because someone has an Illuma Room doesn't mean that they're also going to have an Oculus Rift. And while I think one might be a better version of virtual reality or a more immersive experience, I don't think that necessarily has to replace another. So Illuma Room could be pretty exciting, we'll be finding out more this week. And last up in news today, a new independent game aims to punish piraters for pirating by giving them a taste of their own medicine. Game Dev Tycoon is the first title from independent developer Greenheart Games. It's a game development simulator where players must start their own small studio and attempt to create a game in a competitive market. Game Dev Tycoon launched yesterday for $7.99, and along with the launch, the developer decided to release a cracked version of the game onto torrent sites for people to pirate. However, those who decided to pirate the game rather than purchasing a copy had their own game within the game pirated as well, causing them to lose massive profits and go into bankruptcy. In a delicious twist of irony, complaints started flooding in from players who kept getting their in-game game pirated and were losing as a result. Fantastic! Poetic justice at its finest! This is... Absolutely amazing if you ask me, and I'll tell you why for two reasons. Number one, this whole little charade probably has a lot more people talking about this game than may have otherwise. I also think it's a good way of teaching pirates a lesson by giving them a taste of their own medicine. Oh, you want to pirate this game? Well, you will fail at this game because people in the game will be pirating your game causing you to fail in the game. I mean, I understand that pirates have all sorts of reasons. I am not blind or deaf to the fact that some people live in parts of the world where they can't afford certain games just based on their monthly or yearly income. And it's not because they're not working hard enough, it just has more to do with exchange rates and the price of games. I also understand that some people want to try games before they buy them, because lots of games just aren't that great and not worth many people's money. I get all of the reasons and explanations behind pirating. However, that doesn't change change the fact that this affects real people who have put time, energy, and money into developing these games. Especially when people pirate indie games, I think that's where people will be affected the most. These small teams who many times aren't getting paid a lot of money, if anything, to make a game over the course of one to two years, and to have it release and have a lot of people play it without buying it. But I know, once again, pirates will have their reason. I would say one thing though, if you are interested in pirating games and if it's something that you do on a regular basis, why don't you take a look at Game Dev Tycoon and see what it's like to have those pirates affect you directly. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's episode of the show. As always, thank you so much for watching. Once again, this has been Force and you have just been Force Fed.